Hey there, this is Tony and Renee with Let It Go Lifestyle Estate Sale Company. We are coming to you from Ocoee and I'm going to give you a quick tour of our sale this weekend. Um, do you know the measurements on that? I don't know, the, but it's, it's typical. It's, a it's for a, yeah, it's for a okay. uh, uh, pickup truck, Diamond Bright. Right. So we're starting we got down a, here. Uh, unlike new uh, 125 PSI uh, compressor. Uh, we have a Craftsman tool set, uh, tool tower. Uh, Lots of miscellaneous tools, hand tools. Uh, looks like some Dremels, hand drills. Anything special here? What is that? Uh, well, this is just a. This is basically a, a miter saw. Miter saw. Okay. Uh, yeah, an older model miter saw. We have a recipro re corded reciprocated saw inside here. We got a, a basically a, a vintage uh, grinder. Uh, and we have a vacuum pump, uh, oh, a, uh, a portable scale, uh, and we have under here a newer skill saw, uh, 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 skill saw, and then we also have a, uh, an old craftsman. Uh, we have some uh, duct fabricating tools or for, for fiberglass, uh, and then uh, another uh, circular saw, we got a real real big grinder, uh, a bunch of irrigation uh, rotors and heads. Uh, we have a thousand pound four wheel dolly uh, that, that converts to a two wheel dolly uh, as well as a as well, as well as a uh, two wheel dolly or hand truck. Uh, we have a Troy built uh, weed eater, uh, weed eater and, and, uh, and trimmer. Uh, what Lots else? of garden tools. So we yep. got the uh, backpack sprayers. Look like there's four of those. Yep, yep. A brand uh, new, never been used uh, generator, Predator, uh, Predator 9000, 7250 uh, running watts. Uh, another one of those backpack, uh, uh, backpack things. We have a pallet jack up to 5,500 pounds, uh, and that is uh, that's a, that could be a nice addition to somebody's uh, somebody's. Uh, warehouse or garage. Kind of uh, wet and edger. Yep, we got one of these uh, one, one of these gutter blowers, and uh, and then a trimmer. Just a miscellaneous uh, what else we got? All box, kinds of miscellaneous garden stuff. stuff. Uh, the racks also uh, are for oh, sale, yeah. uh, but you can't pick them up until the last day of the sale. You can buy them in advance, but then you can't pick them up till then. Uh, and just various things. We have uh, a, a corded Dewalt reciprocating saw. We have a uh, another Dewalt reciprocating saw. That was a saw, right? Oh, oh no, no, I'm sorry. This is this one's a corded drill. This piece here. Uh, and we have a heavy duty uh, a vintage, drill. Uh, vintage. Half inch yep. Reverse drill. And then we've got a Troy built pressure washer. And we've got some big. Hand tools, wrenches, crowbars, all kinds of stuff in Make here. Make sure you show them the zero turn uh, Toro motor. Uh, oh, yeah, motor. let's go out here. Right up here. Watch your step. So this is going to be an outbuilding out in the backyard. Yep. Uh, then this we've got two, this. 2019 Toro uh, Time Cutter SS5000. And it does work because he mowed the yard today with it. And got some gas cans, and then I'm going to take That's you. That's all the important stuff. Okay, I'm going to go on up here. If you want to close up, yep. And then up here, the, we're coming in through the back of the house. Lots of pool, patio, yard art, bird baths, plants, pots. <clears throat> we got some coolers. One of them's a brand new uh, Rubbermaid cooler. That set right there, the owner's taking with him, so that's not for sale, but everything else out here. Let's see, we've got a smoker. What kind is this? Master built, Sportsman Elite. Oh. Let's see here. Yep, it's a smoker. And then we've got a charbroil um, grill, some more patio furniture, just the miscellaneous stuff. Beautiful blue pot. Those are not cheap, but it's it's here for sale. 
And then here on the patio pool side, which I happen to partake of today, we have got this beautiful vintage enamel table. Both sides have a piece that come out like this. A lot of enamel wear. We've got a lot of vintage and antique pieces in this house. This is just some leftover kitchen stuff. More patio. And we're going to go inside. Hey. And here we've got a, yeah, we've got an old wooden hutch and a little kitchen table and into the kitchen we have uh, just some miscellaneous pieces we've got a lot of vintage old dutch oven these old containers put flour and sugar salt in and some more miscellaneous kitchen and I'm going to take you through here. I think the girls have turned all the lights off on me. This is a beautiful antique cabinet. <clears throat> and uh, we've got some of the old pharmacy bottles in here. We've got the um, Apollo moon shots. So you've got the your glass and the bottom is a shot glass. Those are really cool. And then here we've got, uh, this is a Victoria Sheffield collection. It's an inkwell set. And some Falstaff glasses. And more bottles. We've got an old Phillips Milk Magnesia. This one still has the pills in it. And then in here, take you, yeah, they turned all the lights out. <laughs> All right, so we have a lot of antiques in this house. They're really, really pretty pieces. Look at this lamp. Isn't that beautiful? The crit sets, and this is a really pretty piece right there. That would make a beautiful buffet or bar in someone's house. A lot of vintage glass, and the blue willow dishes. The girls really did a nice job with setup in here. And um, more of these crit sets. I love those. I just think they're so pretty. A lot of cobalt blue. I'll take you into the other room. This is a really pretty little piece with a crystal knob. So in here we have some greenery and more dishes, some specialty china, um, Louise Rose, this beautiful little vintage punch bowl set. And just, we have a few holiday things, not a whole lot. Got some carnival glass sprinkled here and there. There's more of the blue cobalt and queen bed and these cute little decanters. Okay. And this is my favorite room. <clears throat> this is our antique room. So in here we have an old Lane Cedar chest. You can see it's in really good condition. There's a label. It's very deep. The front of it, um, in good condition. We've got an old washboard table, um, some copper pieces, We've got an antique child's rocker and dolls, some cradles. Look at this, how cute this is. And then an old violin. This sale runs this weekend. And it's in the Okoe area. Look at this old stove. Look at that. I love this thing, it's so cute. It's got the top on it, some more copper. Uh, we're gonna be running Friday through Sunday from nine to two. And the address, if you're on my email list, you'll get it tonight. Um, otherwise, you'll be able to get it on Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Got some precious moments. And let's go 
back out here. This is going to be our hold and checkout area. Here we've got some old lanterns, some more canisters, and we've got quite a few crocs. I think they're somewhere in the house. Some oil lamps. And here we have an old vintage sewing machine. I'll find the light in here. This one is um, in really good shape. It actually still works. It's pedal operated. And you can see the rope. This is in good condition. Um, it's got all of its drawers. There are some attachments and accessories that we left in here on the pedal. And we have a vintage coat rack. It has a cast iron base. And then here we have an old secretary in really good condition. Um, and here we have some vintage ink wells. You can see this has the key. And it's in excellent condition. And then back over here, turn some lights on so you can see what's in here. It's starting to, the sun's starting to go down, so definitely need the lighting. All right, so we've got some Waterford crystal candlesticks back there, some pretty um, more carnival glass, and just some antique pieces. We've got some mercury painted ornaments. And these are hat pen um, pieces. And here we have another vintage table minus the TV tray. And we've got some old clocks. <clears throat> That's a vintage clock. We have another one here. A little brass piece. A little vintage Mickey missing an ear. And we have this really nice... Um, sectional. It's electric. The sides, I think there's four reclining sides and um, coffee table. We've got another antique table. We've got these beautiful Tiffany style lights. These lamps. That's one of them. And then the other one is here. Isn't she pretty? Uh, and then we go into the, this is the other side of the kitchen with the antique chairs and some really pretty serving pieces here. I'm going to take you into the garage <clears throat> where we have some Dale Earnhardt collectibles. And you have to give the light just a second to turn on. There we go. So in here we've got just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Um, some weights, some, mis some hats, a um, few tools, odd pieces here. Here we have a Dale Earnhardt long sleeve shirt, never been worn. We've got a jacket and then here we've got our collection of um, just a variety of things. There's pictures, there's an alarm clock here, um, coat collection, birdhouse, even toilet paper. All this is from Dale Earnhardt. Um, what a tragedy to have lost him. He had such a wonderful family life and career and um, sadly missed. We have some hats. And then we've got some big posters. This one is signed. This back one is not. And we have a pool cue. That's Dale Earnhardt. Um, we got some other pictures here of him. And uh, a lot of Daytona 500. I thought this was kind of cool. This was made uh, just a couple days after his passing. Uh, it's been laminated but it's got every race he ever did and um, very nice tribute to him. And we have this really beautiful antique table and chairs. Uh, we've got everything priced separately. Um, and we've got a safe and then we've got a um, 
um, blueprint uh, holder. I'm not sure what they're called. It's architectural plan holder um, that we've got for sale. And then some miscellaneous things here. We've got a deep freezer that works. It's plugged in. These are the coolest thing in the world. I've never seen these before, but there's a set of four. They're like uh, TV trays, but I would think for like tailgating, they're perfect or playing backgammon in the park. And then all you do, pick it up like that. How sexy is that? But they're vintage, they're very old, and um, they're on sale this week. Some other pieces. Got an old cast iron sausage stuffer. Another uh, washboard, washboard stand. And uh, I'm sure I'm missing quite a few things. But uh, anyway, wanted to give you just a little insight on this week's sale. And again, we'll start at 9 o'clock on Friday. So I'm hot and sweaty. We've been working outside all day. But uh, say bye, Tony. Hi there. Still got <laughs> so, a little, little gas in the engine to, yeah, to wash Yeah, we're going to go home and go on the pool now. So we'll see you guys this weekend.